Hello everyone and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. So in this video I have software UCM and hardware based PBX UCM6302 and I'm going to show you SIP trunking between both the PBXs. So to add the SIP trunk we need to add SIP trunk in the Wipe Trunk options. So before adding a SIP trunk here we need to check the extension on both the sides PBX. So as you can see here, 6302 has 3 digit extension and software UCM has 2 digit of extensions. So now we will add a SIP trunk between both the UCMs. So in the provider name, I'm giving software UCM and the SIP trunk type should be spear SIP trunk. And in the host name, I'm giving the IP address of software UCM. And now after saving it, add it the SIP trunk and go to into the advanced setting to enable heartbeat detection option. Save it. Now add as outbound rule to call on UCM software UCM and give a name out software UCM. Now giving pattern so add software using you can see here two digit extensions there so we will add a xx pattern so that we can call on two digit extension and selecting the software using trunk and whitelist the extension which can make the call on software using so i'm selecting all the extension so that these can call now similarly adding a inbound rule So here we need to give the pattern. So our side on using 6302 we have three digit extension. So we have to set 3x here and the set destination is by DID. So any call coming on particular extension it will land automatically and give the root name in from software UCM and save it. So we have done the configuration in hardware based PBX using 6302. Similarly, we create SIP trunk in software UCM. Add a peer trunk and give the provider name using 6302. And in the host name field, give the IP address of UCM 6302. Or you can set your PBX IP address accordingly. Now save it and edit it and navigate to advanced setting and then enable heartbeat detection option so it can monitor the status of SIP trunk now add outbound rule so we have a three digit extension in 6302 so we give a pattern with 3x to call from software UCM to 6302 so I'm giving pattern 3x as the three digit extensions and enable source color ID options and select all the extensions and now select the SIP trunk to call outside and now adding an inbound rule here and giving name in from UCM6302 and now the pattern is 2x so as we have two digit extension so we are adding pattern of 2x two digit extension and the destination should be selected as by DAD so anyone call an particular extension it will land automatically and now apply changes so now we will check the trunk status and software UCM is side showing reachable and now it's checking in UCM6602. So it takes some time. Now it is also reachable and now we
now we will make the calls between the pbxs and i'm going to call from wave which is registered on software ucm with extension 11 and i'm going to call on 902 which is ucm 6302 extension number and it is showing ringing and now we can check the status in both the pbx as well so now call is answered and count is started over here similarly i can make call from 902 to 11 so you can see here call from 902 and call is connected So this way we have created SIP trunk between both the PBXs and we can see the status of SIP trunk in the dashboard. So that SIP trunk should be reachable on both the PBXs. So basically we have added a SIP trunk between both the UCM with their respective IP addresses. Then we created outbound rule and inbound rule to make the call from the pbx to pbx and inbound rule to receive calls so thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and share this video to your friends thank you